Hi, um, prepare for your family here. And I wanted to do a video today about um, making the best use of your space for food storage. I saw this racking system on uh, on YouTube uh, for, for cans. And I really liked it, but I don't have the space for something like that. So I thought, you know what, I do have this, this area of my basement that kind of leads way back there, you can see. And this whole wall was empty. And it's really too narrow to put shelves on, but I could put these little trough type shelves on here for cans. And I want to show you today how I did this and give you a couple other ideas of what I'm doing for food storage. Um, so I'm going to start at the back here because this will show you um, how simple this is. Um, I, I started with these little one by 2 uh, burring strips and then I got this, the cheapest wood sheeting I could get. I think this is probably 3 16th Luan. I don't honestly remember what it was. Um, and then I have a, a router, um, so I cut a groove in here to glue that wood sheeting in place for the shelf. Now, if you don't have a router, I'm sure you could just glue, uh, the wood glue would be important, and then just tack it on the bottom um, for your shelf. Now, um, you can see I, I put extra um, extra piece of, of the, the wood sheeting in the bottom, just tacked it in place for, for extra support. Um, and then what I did on the... Uh, on this on the other side the bottom if you will um, I tacked in a few pieces and I glued this on the end because obviously that's gonna be holding the weight of the can so I wanted to make sure that was good and I just used these little um, braid nails so they're, they're not the strongest things in the world but with the wood glue I'm sure that that's gonna be fine so um, really I mean that's that's what it, that, that's what the shelves consist of now I, I screwed uh, the shelf into the wall three places uh, both ends and in the, in the middle and then I needed to figure out a way to um, to hold it in place so it didn't droop or you know or, or fall off the wall. And I came up with um, just putting one more of those furring strips, um, and I just set it on the floor. And um, it's not connected to anything up at the top. And I just screwed it into each of the shelves, and that holds it in place. And that works really really well. So the the sheeting that I bought was four by four. And like I said, I got the cheapest piece I could get. So I cut this in strips, and they're four feet long. Um, I cut as many as I could to fit the, uh, the most different types of cans, so they they would fit on that brace as easily as as it could, you know, without having to put spacers. And I'll show you that in a second. So here I have eight shelves. Now four feet, a standard kind of a soup can or vegetable can. It'll go. You can put about sixteen cans on here, like this chili. You can see. You know, I kind of went 16 cans, but then you can double it up for about 31 cans uh, on a shelf. You can't put the 32nd one on there, it'll fall off the back end. Um, so, like, here's my vegetables. So you can see I have a lot of those. Now, this is a good way for me to get a real a quick snapshot of, of what my inventory looks like, because I do use this. matter of fact, I just made some soup not too long ago, and I used a lot of this chicken broth. So you can see that that shelf's kind of short. I use that a lot, so I need to add some more stuff there. So I have the different type of foods on each shelf. So, you know, I have the soup and the chili, like I showed you, then the uh, vegetables and tomato sauce, the, the chicken broth, the those meals, um, the spaghettios and kind of stuff like that, and then the canned potatoes that I like. Now, here's eight shelves, right? So I, I can put 16 cans on there, so that's about 128 uh, cans, or if you double them up, I'm at 248 cans right here. Now, I started another one back here, you can see, um, and I wanted for the bigger cans, for the big soup cans. So I got those going, and then I had a couple small shelves that I wanted to build. And so I did have to put the spacers in here, okay? Um, and it wasn't a big deal. And it, it may not look real nice, but I don't really care about that. I just want it to be functional. Um, and I have a lot of space here that I can add more. And I did put about six inches um, space between the bottom to, of one shelf to the bottom of the next and that gives you enough space to to put the two rows of cans unless they're those big you know uh, cans like that then, then you know put those up at the top um, so anyway so that's uh, a real quick idea of what I did for food storage again basically making the best use of your space uh, available now there's something else I wanted to show you and it comes from a company called eFoods Global I don't know if you can see that box but um, they make these 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 meals for long term food food storage, and I was looking for this. Um, I'm gonna put my there we go. 
um, I was looking for something more than just the can uh, food, and and I like this idea because they are meals. They're they're full entree type meals, um, and and soups. And and I'll tell you why I like E Foods Global. Um, number one is is it's good quality food for like a full meal. Number two, it's very affordable. You don't have to buy these huge huge case quantities. You can buy what you want. Obviously, the more you buy, the better price you get. Um, when I want to serve this to my family, I can just pull this one package down and there's four servings in each one of these packages. So I, I pull what I need if I want to use it and I don't have to open up a giant can. So it's very, very versatile. Then it's, it's, there's a lot of quality, uh, features to this as well, as far as no MSG, no GMOs, um, and uh, and things like that. It's it's uh, it's really really good stuff. But what I'm showing you here is is when I came to this house, there there was this pegboard area back here, and so I thought, well, I could just hang my e foods down here because it's a nice, cool, dry area, which is what you want for long term long term storage. And I spread it out a little bit so I could kind of show you. Now the the gold packaging is the uh, is the soup. So there's the tortilla soup and the chicken noodle soup and such. And then over here is your uh, your entree type meals in the darker packages. So I spread it out so you can see the different ones. All of this here will fit onto two of my bigger um, pegs, uh, my hooks, if you will. And there's about six, or well, there is 64 servings right here. So 64 servings can actually fit on two pegs. So if you look at this space, I could have hundreds of servings of food in a very, very small area. So as far as making the best use of your space, that's another feature that eFoods Global brings. So I'm going to put a link um, to my website to where you can get more information about eFoods. And if you have any questions about it, obviously let me know. Um, and and as, as far as the shelves go, uh, let me know that as well. Um, I'd be happy to, uh, to answer any questions. If, uh, if you think it's a good idea, let me know. If you think there's something I could do better, I, I want to know that as well. So anyway... Um, Take care, uh, be prepared, and I'll talk to you soon.